back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Zoe. I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos three times a week. I do a lot of vlogs and stuff like that. So if you're interested, I would love to have you join my little community. Just go ahead and click that little subscribe button and join the family. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my 30 week bump date. Oh, it's getting so close. I just weighed myself this morning and I weigh 138.2 pounds. And guys, as I'm nearing the end of this pregnancy, oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. It's getting really, really uncomfortable. You guys know if you've been pregnant before or you're in the same range as me, then you know that it gets pretty uncomfortable towards the end of the pregnancy and that's definitely where I'm at. I'm always uncomfortable and this baby is so active. I don't remember Wilder being as active as this baby is and I just feel like he or she is always like, I don't know how to explain it, like kicking every single wall that there is all the time. Like I just, I just feel kicks all the time. Granted, I love the kicks and it's so incredible to feel. I just, I feel like I don't remember Wilder being that active. So this baby is definitely super active and full of energy and just wants to party all the time. One thing that has happened this week that I wanted to mention is I've been having a lot of dizzy spells. One in particular was pretty scary. So I was sitting on the couch and Wilder was just running around like he always does and i felt i felt weird so you guys already know i'm always eating ice and i'm always drinking water i always have an ice water nearby i'm anemic so i'm always munching on ice so i was just sitting on the couch you know like normal and i didn't have my ice water at the time so i was starting to feel a little weird and i was like hmm maybe it's because i haven't had any ice or any water this morning so I get up and I go to the fridge and I get some ice and I literally felt like I was going to pass out. I remember texting Garrick and I was like, if I don't reply in like 30 minutes to a text or a call from you, call an ambulance because Wilder is here by himself, like not to be dramatic, but Wilder is here by himself and like that's how dizzy I felt and I didn't want to be like passed out and him be all alone, you know? So I have been having dizzy spells, which is which have been kind of scary and I've read all about it and I've talked to my doctor and a lot of people have it surprisingly I never really had dizzy spells with Wilder also it's crazy how different a pregnancy can be from one another so that's definitely another thing that's been happening this week as well as nesting you guys know that I've been nesting for a while but you know now that I'm nearing the end of my pregnancy ish it's getting to where I'm wanting to do all these types of things and we if you guys didn't see my last vlog I think it was my last vlog we pretty much got the nursery all together and said obviously we have a lot more we have to do in that room but we pretty much got the majority of the stuff that we wanted in the room and just like cleaning the room cleaning the house doing anything like that it really takes a toll on my body now and I I remember this with the pregnancy with Wilder I was like cleaning baseboards and stuff and it just got so so difficult for me to do it and I wanted to do it obviously like I love the nesting phase and I love that part of pregnancy but like I have to force myself to keep going and keep cleaning and it's so frustrating and I'm just so exhausted and so tired all the time speaking of that I literally cannot sleep at night I swear to you guys I wake up every hour during the night if any of you guys have this happening to you during your pregnancy comment below and let me know and what you did to help it I have the pregnancy pillow and it's not really very comfortable for me I have a body pillow I have all these types of pillows and it just like I just can't get good quality sleep and it's so frustrating so that's another thing I am definitely in that stage now where it's really really hard to sleep so in my last update, I told you guys about the high risk ultrasound doctor and how I had to go to that appointment. And I went to that appointment and everything that they were worried about seemed fine, they said, and it was on track. I guess there was a level of spinal fluid that um, was kind of borderline and they didn't like the number, but everything seemed to check out fine and I guess it is 
common during pregnancy but while they were doing my anatomy scan and just checking out everything they said that you know the baby's stomach is measuring a lot smaller so i have to go every two weeks now to go see um at the high risk ultrasound doctor and it just I don't know I never had these issues with Wilder so this is all new to me obviously and it just um, it kind of worries me but at the same time they didn't they didn't make it seem like it was too big of a deal I'm just glad that these doctors like saw something they didn't like and you know they're not just pushing it off to the side and I am getting you know ultrasounds just to check up on the baby and just make sure everything is going smoothly which I just feel that everything's gonna go smoothly and I pray every single night that it will go smoothly and I just feel in my heart that everything's gonna be fine and they didn't make it seem like it was such a big deal like it was just you know they came in and they're like you know the baby's stomach is measuring a little bit smaller and we really want to keep an eye on it so we'll just have you back every two weeks and it wasn't like a, a big thing it was just something to keep an eye on so that is what I'm having to do every two weeks and I will update you guys of course on that every time that I go. Whether it's in my vlogs or my pregnancy updates, I will definitely let you guys know. I am also nearing the end of like going every month so I'm pretty sure I have to go every two weeks starting very soon just for like my you know normal regular routine checkup for the baby so I will be having a lot of appointments here soon and my new doctor like I've said previously my new doctor is like an hour away so but it's okay because I'm really excited to deliver at this new doctor a new hospital if you guys haven't watched my labor and delivery story Garrick and I kind of went through a really traumatic whole thing with Wilder's labor and delivery so I'm just glad to be in like a whole new environment with just different doctors and I kind of have a better feel for everything so I am really excited this time around and we are going to be scheduling a specific date for my c-section very very soon that's crazy and exciting that we're going to know like the birth date of this baby you guys know I would rather have a vaginal birth but God has a different plan and maybe I will still have a vaginal birth maybe I'll go into labor on my own but right now we're planning for a scheduled c-section because that's what's in my mind and my baby's best interest so yeah if you guys don't know I am having a scheduled c-section and we do not know the gender I get so many comments asking what the gender is and I tell you guys every time we just we don't know we're not finding out it is getting really really hard that's another thing especially for Garrick um and he's the one that kind of wanted to like brought this to my attention anyways so it's kind of funny but we were shopping for stuff and you know getting clothes it's just hard not finding out as this pregnancy progresses and <laughs> it's just funny Garrick really wants to know now he's like come on we don't have to tell anyone and I'm like no babe we've come way too far for this it's just it's going to be so so worth it we're going to try to vlog as much as we can during um my labor and delivery or my c-section whatever ends up happening so you guys definitely turn your notification bell on and stay tuned for my labor and delivery because i'm so excited for that we definitely don't plan on taking any breaks during that time and just taking you guys along with us and sharing everything and just being able to keep those memories very close at heart but anyways you guys should already know these types of videos are very very chatty well let's be honest every one of my videos are very very chatty but these specifically i don't know why i just i like to talk about everything that's happened you know so not only you guys can watch and maybe relate to what I'm going through but I can watch later on so if I have another baby even though the ring test says that I wasn't having another baby only two but if I do end up having another baby I can look back at all these videos and just see you know what was going on during that milestone and it's just nice even if we don't have another baby to look back on all of this and I'm just so glad that I'm able to capture this and share it with you guys. So as for cravings, I'm still craving Rice Krispie Treats really, really bad. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention my nose is bleeding all the time and I've read that that's a symptom 
but literally it bleeds all the time i've never had a nosebleed in my life and it's not really like a nosebleed it's just there's always blood in my nose like i'm sorry that's kind of gross but it just is a part of pregnancy for a lot of women i'm just one of those people my nose is always bleeding and it's really happened here recently like i mean it's happened early on in like the first trimester but now it's really happening very very often like there's not a time where there's not blood in my nose so that's been going on this past week as well i'm peeing obviously a lot pregnant women pee a lot but i swear if i'm not getting sleep because i'm not comfortable at night i'm not getting sleep because i'm literally getting up all the time to pee but wilder is actually he loves his sleep too so he sleeps in and that really really saves me my nipples are still leaking a lot like all the time and it just i don't know it gives me a good feeling about this time around and breastfeeding i did leak with wilder's pregnancy as well and um i quit breastfeeding very early on and i've regretted it ever since so this time around i definitely plan to you know really focus on breastfeeding and I just really want it to work out this time around so now that like my nipples are leaking a lot all the time it just gives me hope that you know obviously my milk is going to come in and I've read that my breasts are making colostrum and just it just makes me feel better whether or not that does mean that my milk is going to come in or not it just makes me feel better and I am just super excited for breastfeeding this time around. Um, I know that it can be really difficult, especially with a toddler, with Wilder, but I just, I missed that bond so bad whenever I gave up on it. And I just, I don't want to quit this time. And I just really hope that there's better lactation consultants at the hospital that I'm going to because where we delivered lactation consultants weren't really very helpful and we just had a lot of visitors at the hospital so i feel like that's another reason why i wasn't focusing as much as i would have liked to during you know my whole breastfeeding journey so this time around we're definitely going to limit you know all of the visitors and everything when the new baby is born just so i can really really focus on breastfeeding and you know developing the whole bond and just i'm like holding my boobs while i'm talking about it but I just, I really want to work on breastfeeding this time. If any of you guys have any tips, comment below. Let me know any tips on like sore nipples. I remember that really, really killed me in the beginning. Like every time Wilder would feed, I would dread it because my nipples hurt so bad. They would crack and bleed and I'm preparing for that this time, but I'm not giving up. And if any of you guys have any advice or tips, DM me, comment below, and I would love to know any of your tips or tricks that would be greatly appreciated my ankles are getting a little bit swollen but as you guys know that happens with pregnancy all of this happens with pregnancy um i'm eating a lot Duh. another thing is it's really hard not to pee <laughs> whenever like i sneeze or i laugh really hard if i get to, if garrett gets me laughing really hard like TMI, but it's so hard not to pee myself. Anyways, I'm gonna hit you guys with the belly shot right here. If any of you guys have any questions for my next update, Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to hear, what you guys want to see. I try to keep this as raw as possible, even if it's like TMI or not. But yeah, so if you guys don't like that kind of stuff, I wouldn't watch these videos. But I like to just keep it real with you guys. And pregnancy comes along with a lot of different things. And I just, I'm here to share it with you guys. But anyways, I think that's all for today's video, you guys. If you like this video, of course, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join the family. Also, don't forget to click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video.